Not sure what got into Calgary last night, but we weren't expecting the, uh, the Jets to lose by three. Uh, we were pretty hopeful after the second period when it was tied 3-3 that we can get two more points, uh, two more uh, goals from the Jets to get there, but it went the other way. So Calgary finished uh, 6-3. Uh, on to today, uh, we got a couple more hockey games, as you can probably guess. I'm missing basketball, but we're still going to talk about it, so let's get into it. What's up, everybody? Crash here. Welcome back to Crash Against the Spread, where we talk about sports from a betting perspective. Uh, we are still talking about hockey. Um, I had a couple thoughts on a couple games. Uh, I don't know if I'll fully get there, um, but I'm pretty sure I'll be on the uh, Panthers. So uh, we'll start there. Uh, Panthers versus the Senators. Uh, that game is in Florida, in um Sunrise right down the street from my house. Uh, so I am obviously on the Panthers in this one. Um, and I'm going to go on the puck line. Um, this team is 29 and 26 on the puck line this season. Uh, 16, 8, and 2 at home. Uh, they've been pretty dominant either at home or away. I think their last. Uh, Last game, they beat the Lightning 9-2 to um, in Tampa Bay. So uh, they came off a three, now they're on a five-game win streak right now. Three of those games on the road, so playing good hockey anywhere. Um, the Senators, the Senators are 8-14 and zero on the road so definitely not where you want to back the senators if you're backing them at all uh they also just had a win over the lightning uh but they're on a uh kind of streaky uh situation before and after that so um what we're looking at for this game i like i like them on the puck line uh this the money line is a minus 255, so unless it's part of a three-team parlay or something like that, there's no value on that. Uh, so I'm going to take the uh, Panthers at minus one and a half, minus 110. Uh, I kind of liked the Devils, uh, New Jersey Devils against the Capitals. Um, Caps are 13 and 14 at home, not having the best... Uh, after All Star break, um, two and four in their last six. Devils are four and three in their last seven. These are their February games, and this is their fourth meeting this year. Uh, Devils are trying to even up the series. The Caps won the first two, then the Devils won the last one by three. Uh, I think it was six three. Um, so, being with the recent play, I want to I want to back the Devils, but I'm not sure if I want to get there. Um, I want that plus money on the puck line. And right now, if I were to look, yeah, uh, they're minus 170 to win, uh, plus 140 on the puck line. So I'd rather have that, but I don't know if I'll get there. I can, after the, uh, as the Capitals need to win a couple games, I can see them trying to make it close for this one. Um, Wild and Jets, uh, Jets off a back-to-back, Wild off a back-to-back also. Uh, Jets lost to Calgary yesterday, um, and they were supposed to be a good defensive team, but they allowed those uh, three extra goals in the third period yesterday. Not sure I want to bite them again. Um, The Wild yesterday scored... 10 points against the Canucks. Uh, that game ended up 7-10. to 10. 
And I want to say they uh, are coming in with some momentum and could uh, get us just over again. But the Jets are supposed to be good defensively. So um, that might lead me to stay off this game. But I was leaning towards the over. So um, the only official right now is the Panthers on the puck line. And uh, those are my other two thoughts is the Devils on the puck line and the over five and a half in the Wild Jets and Wild and Jets game. Uh, but we'll see what we get to. Maybe I'll include the other two in a parlay. So Panthers minus one and a half is the official. Uh, lock it in. Let's get this money. And we'll see you tomorrow for I think one more day of uh, hockey before baseball or uh, basketball comes back. So talk to you then.